Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Hi, I'm Rob from RobNumphoe.com. I almost forgot where it's from then. I say it so many times at the beginning of these videos. Right, okay, so quick beginner's guide. Um, and this one's about taking better portrait photographs with your DSLR. Um, portraits can be one of the most challenging things to do because um, people have a certain expectation to how they look in photographs. And if you get it wrong, um, if you don't show them at their best light, um, it can really put them off, put them off you taking more photographs of them, especially if it's a family member or, a, you know, and or a spouse. Um, and obviously, if you're using models and things like that, they, they want good pictures. So when you first start out trying to take portraits of people, um, as I say, it can be quite challenging, but this is a, a little thing I'd like to, you to remember because it will get you started into really thinking about how to take better um, portraits. And um, it's nice and simple, and it works, and that is F-A-B. You're going to learn how to take fab portraits. So, F-A-B, what does that mean? Well, what you're going to be doing is you've got, you got your DSLR, right? And the mistake most people make is they go and try and take a nice picture of somebody, maybe a nice headshot or... A full length shot and they're using their kit zoom lens their 18 to 55 or something like that the problem with this is it's too wide it's not flattering as you get closer to your subject um the, the thing that's closer to the camera gets bigger an example of that like if i reach towards my my camera and look at see how big my hand is getting my hand really isn't that big in comparison to my head is it? If I bring it back, it goes back to normal. And the same thing happens with things like people's noses. So if you're closer to them, the no your nose gets bigger and it's not very flattering. So the first thing about a fab portrait is you've got to remember, get that kit lens off, get the little zoom off, and put your telephoto zoom on, put your long zoom on. It may seem a little bit counterintuitive, the fact that, you know, maybe you're only going to be standing you know, 10 feet away from somebody, why would you put this beast on where you could have that beast on? Well, this will force you to stand further away. And the further away you are from your uh, subject, the more flattering it will be. And I would suggest you probably look on the on your lens and set it to something like, I don't know, 100 millimeters. And that will give you a really nice distance to have a flat, flattering look. And you'd be amazed at the difference it makes. Um, when you start using a telephoto zoom as well at that sort of focal length to get away from your subject and zoom in on them, the other thing it does is it makes the background apparently more blurred, okay, because it brings it closer. And that takes us into the second part of a fab portrait. And the second part of it is your aperture, okay. Now, with your aperture, which is the, the hole in the lens, you know, that you change. That, and what it does, it also controls your depth of field. So the bigger the aperture, so the bigger the hole, and the smaller the number, the smaller your depth of field is going to be. So you want to be shooting, um, if you want a nice blurred background, that is, at the wider apertures. However, there's one thing I would say is I think blurred backgrounds are great in portrait photographs. You know, they're really, really nice. But always remember, I think anyway, you want the eyes to be in focus. That's the most important thing. But I think you also want the nose to be in focus as well. I don't like portraits where you'll see somebody where the eyes will be sharp, but their nose is blurred. It kind of doesn't look natural. So think about your aperture and don't automatically go to the widest setting i don't know f4 i think it's on something like this or f5 if you're zoomed in a bit you know maybe don't be scared to shoot at something like um f5 6 don't be scared to shoot at f8 especially if the person uh, you're shooting with if you're using a longer focal length as long as the background is a fair way away because it will still appear nice and soft and the beauty of using a longer focal length is that that blurriness of the background kind of gets magnified because the telephoto zoom brings the background closer um, relatively so that's the second thing aperture keep it keep it fairly wide but but don't go wide all the way because you don't need to when using a telephoto zoom and the last bit of a fab portrait is 
background. Really look at what's behind your subject. Does it does it uh, complement the colours they're wearing? Is it too complicated? You know, one of the main problems you'll see with portraits is the person might look great they might look fantastic but then they've got all this busyness in the background maybe they've got trees or or things appear it looks like they're growing out of their heads because it's too complicated try and try and simplify the background circle around them or get them to move around you so you get to a point where you've got a nice simple background and then you can you know be nice and sort of soft nice and blurred and it will make a world of difference to your photos remember maybe you want a bright background to to do a little bit of um, high key stuff remember if your background starts getting brighter you're probably going to be shooting aperture priority mode so we either go to spot metering and meter off their face or use a bit of exposure compensation to um to lighten it all up so that the, the face is still well exposed or go over to manual mode and do it that way or if it's darker do the vice versa so there we go really quick uh, tip for better better portraits fab portraits focal length go with a longer focal length put your big zoom on set it to about 100 millimeters and the, it will be so much more um, complementary to your subject aperture Go wide, but don't go too wide. You know, you want to give yourself room to manoeuvre. You want a bit of elbow room so that you can focus on their eyes, but you're also going to get, you know, their, their nose uh, okay as well. So, you know, don't be scared at shooting at f8 or f5.6 if you're using a longer lens because it's going to look blurred behind anyway. Um, experiment. And then B for background. Really look at the background. There's a saying, the fact that, you know, we're really good at seeing our, with our eyes and our brains we're really good at seeing our subject but our cameras are really good at seeing the distractions around our subject that we won't see till we see it afterwards on a computer screen and go oh there's a lamppost growing out of that person's head or why didn't i see that red fire hydrant behind them you know that's distracting from their orange dress or something like that so there we go so focal length aperture and background Concentrate on those when you start doing uh, portraits and you won't go far wrong and then pretty soon you'll be into the more advanced stuff too. My name is Rob from RobNonPhoto.com. If you like the videos, please subscribe. Put some comments down or questions down below. You can email me, scalespeed.gmail.com. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon.